is taking place. The head of the African Union mission to Somalia, Francisco Madera, has been ordered to leave the country. As my colleague. The directive comes from the office of Prime Minister Mohamed Roble. The Somali government declares the special representative of the African Union Commission chairperson for Somalia, Ambassador Francisco Madera, persona non grata for engaging in acts that are incompatible with his status as representative of the African Union Commission and is ordered to leave Somalia within 48 hours. The order comes after a tape of Madera speaking was leaked on social media. Now they realize that uh, they need to take the march on because the possibility, the possibility of the march really for them seems to be there. They need to stop that. The idea is not necessarily because of the lady herself, but the capital she represents. The AU diplomat is talking about the country's election. He is saying that a coalition trying to stop Farmajo's re-election may have had something to do with recent terror attacks. Why was the uh, uh, David uh, assigning with Madoka on Garbahana? The idea was to block the numbers, block the numbers. But now they are seeing that, oh, they may not be able to cross the sun. I have to agree to all of you that now... And that Formaggio and his allies are in a position to win the polls. President Mohamed Formaggio has come out against the expulsion. Villa Somalia issued several statements online. The federal government of Somalia, led by President Mohamed Farmajo, has received no complaints of interference with its sovereignty and doesn't endorse any illegal action against Ambassador Francisco Madera. Our foreign policy is not anchored on emotions and vested interests, and we value all our state-building process partners. This appears to be another confrontation in the ongoing leadership feud between Farmajo and Roble. The president apologized to the African Union and asserted his authority over Somalia's international relations. Mohamed Formaggio is the guardian and custodian of the country's sovereignty. Steps to be taken which concern our ties with countries and multilateral institutions is conducted in consultation and in the spirit of non-interference with our partners. Somalia has expelled foreign diplomats before. Madera's deputy at the time, Simon Malongo, was kicked out in November. He was accused of engaging in activities incompatible with Amazon's mandate and Somalia's security strategy. In January of 2019, United Nations Representative Nicholas Haysom was also expelled. He was looking into the shooting of demonstrators in Baidoa in 2018. Protest was over the arrest of former Al Shabaab leader Mukhtar Robau, who wanted to run for office. Robau is still in custody. Haysom did leave. The action against Madera comes less than a week after the African Union mandate was passed from Amazon to Atmis. Atmis is the name for the so called new peacekeeping operation, the African Transition Mission to Somalia. It went into effect on April 1st. ADN-TV will continue to report on diplomatic developments regarding Somalia.